Hello everyone, welcome back to another video talking Kiki Sub with me. So first I want to say I wish everyone had a great Christmas and some uh, if you had any holidays, hope you enjoy them. Hope you spend some time with your friends and family and got all the cool presents that you wanted. And also wishing everyone a happy new year uh, 2023. So this video is about uh, looking back on some of the geeky stuff that I played. And last year I did a similar video, but it was a bit long, it was about 30 something minutes. So I've got to break it down to part one and part two. So this is part one. Part one is going to be mostly focused on video games. As you can see on the screen now, you've got five little icons. Star, thumb, thumb up, not bad, and thumbs down, and a poo. So last year I had like thumbs up, not bad, and thumbs down. But I think 2022 we had some pretty, pretty bad TV shows and movies. Um, so I've added, and also some pretty, really good ones. So, so I put the star for the amazing ones. And I put the poo for the really crappy ones. There you go, crappy ones. So anyway, oh, before I start, just uh, let everyone know that if I remember I mentioned in my video last time was I had uh, I had COVID last year, roughly around Christmas time. And guess what? I had COVID again, uh, Christmas time again this year, or oh, just gone. But this time wasn't as bad as last time, you know, two, three or four days I was recovered. So apologies in advance if you hear me cough or sneeze because I'm still recovering from that. So here we go. So like usual, I'm going to start with Nintendo games. Um, most of you probably know, but I'm a big Nintendo fan. So here's uh, the games I played and I'm going to rate them. So this is not so much about um, why I like them. It's going to go forever this video. So that's why I don't want really to do video games um, review much because it just takes too long. So let's start with Xenoblade Chronicles. What did I think of that? It's a star to me. It was, uh, I think one of my favorite, probably my, ooh, I'm not sure, but it's definitely up there. One or two of my favorite Switch games. Probably my favorite RPG of last year as well. So a star for that. Pokemon Arceus. Oh, I just gave the thumbs up too early. So it's a thumbs up. Um, I know there's a big, when it first came out, some people say, oh, the graphics this. To me, I'm probably mentioning this sometimes. I'm not a big graphic person. Uh, I don't really care too much. As long as, long as the graphics are good enough, I'm more of the art style. And, you know, looking at this, this is the kind of like the Zelda Breath of the Wild moment, you know, open world. And it's a new mechanic. Uh, I thought it brought something new to the Pokemon uh, games. I really enjoyed it, so I used a thumbs up for me. And uh, Kirby, the Forgotten Land. Um, always liked Kirby, but never on the same level as, say, a Mario game or a Zelda game, things like that. So um, always liked them. Always thought they were pretty good games. And looking at this one, like a first 3D game. Um, graphics were pretty cool, colorful, delightful. And it gets a thumbs up for me. I really like it, the mechanics. Um, so I think it's, in my opinion, probably the best 3D, I think it's probably my favourite Kirby game so far. Okay, Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Hope. The last one was pretty good, I liked it. Um, I didn't give it a review or rating because it was way before I started my YouTube channel. So so with this one, I thought it was good. I actually think this one's a little bit better than the first one. It's, more, it's hard to describe, but I think it's more in depth, so thumbs up again. Bayonetta 3, big fan of the Bayonetta series, um, little secret, I've never actually completed any of them, they're pretty tough games, um, don't get me wrong, I played it to the end, as always like, uh, last a couple of hours, but I'm one of those people who gets killed so many times, I kind of pull it away and I keep it saying to myself, I'm going to come back and finish it off and then another game comes out, another game comes out and you kind of forget it, so this one, uh, not finished it, uh, I played it on hard mode. I kind of thinking of playing easy mode soon, but my stubbornness is not letting me go down to easy at the moment. So playing the hard, getting my um, butt kicked. But I love the mechanics. I'm a big action fan. I can appreciate games, even though I haven't completed it. I still think it's a an amazing game. One of one of the best action games available at the moment. So give it a star. One of my favorite of action games this year. Persona Five. Well, I uh, got the Switch version. Now, the original one was great anyway. I mean, the, this is more like a director's cut, I think, of um, the original one on the PlayStation 4, which one of my favorite RPGs. Probably, probably my favorite Persona game so far. 
and uh, I got this on the Switch. A few reasons why, because I noticed these kind of games. I mean, you probably know if you're a Switch fan that these kind of RPG games tend to, uh, how do you say, it? go up in value. You know, they don't really go down because I think it's just because it's a Switch game. And so that's the reason I, I got this. Of course, technically it's nowhere near as good as the PlayStation 5 version, but like I said, I got this because I know it's going to either maintain the value or it's going to go up in value as a collector. So what did I give it? I, like I said, one of my favorite RPGs, my favorite Persona, I give it a star. Nier Automata, the, the end of year edition, was it? I can't even read it. Well, I just call it the Director's Cup. <coughs> Apologies. So Nier has always been another great action game from the developers of um, Bayonetta. Um, they are one of the best action game makers on the market, probably the best at the moment. Nier was a Sony for on Sony's uh, system for probably a time exclusive or something like that. So I played it on Sony, of course. Uh, PS4 loved it, and the same reason I got this uh, this version. It's an A to play on handheld when I'm going to work or when I'm on my lunch break. I have a quick half hour session, so it's, it's great on the portable on the Switch. But at the same time, that's the same reason why I got this version because just like the Persona, it's going to go up in value <laughs> as a collector. You want that. So I give this another star game because it's also one of my favorite action games in the last five or so years. So moving on to Splatoon, Splatoon 3. I never really, I got into Splatoon, I would say in around Spl Spl no, Spl Splatoon 2. Um, one, I was like, yeah, I played it a bit. It wasn't, because I'm not much of a co um multiplayer person i tend to play single single games single player games mostly rpgs really um action adventure games those are kind of my games so i don't mind playing the odd things like mario kart like a local co-op with my brother my friends in the same room so i'm not really all that kind of online kind of person kind of game so i never got into it it was splatoon 2 that i kind of got into because I think one of my friends was really kind of begging me to play, so I uh, played it. I actually, I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I mean, it's not like amazing on my opinion. I can see why that people love it. And Splatoon 3 really improved on a lot of the mechanics, really. Graphics and a lot of more, um, more modes. It's definitely, uh, unlike Splatoon 1 to 2, there's a big jump. Splatoon 2 to 3 wasn't of a big jump. It's more of like an extension, almost like a like a big big DLC really so really good game like I said is I give it a thumbs up I can see why people love this one of the best it's like 10 15 million seller at the moment so I can see why this is so loved me like I said I'm not much of a multi -person, multiplayer person okay Mario Strikers big fan of Mario football games um, GameCube oh I think that was my best one that was my favorite one the GameCube version I was really looking forward to it and not bad because there was a few modes missing and the multiplayer is pretty cool like i said i don't play online so that much i don't really enjoy it i prefer playing local so um and i used to just play my nephew my brothers my cousins and pop around my friends so we have a good laugh but the fact is uh i don't get to see much so and it's single plays you know it's not really designed for single play it's okay i suppose but but like I said, the reason why I gave it not bad because I don't get to play with my friends or family much because everybody's working. And I don't do much online, so there you go. It's a not bad game. Um, it's improving. More and more, more and more content has been downloaded as we speak. Triangle Strategy, another RPG from Square. So if you are a big fan of um, Octopath Travelers, Alive Alive, kind of games like that. Uh, 2D, 3D graphics, which I love. Um, Growing up from the Super Nintendo days, those graphics are always in my mind. You know, I don't think they ever age. And yeah, so this game is kind of like that. It's more strategy than RPG. Well, no, a bit of both. It's got great voice acting, by the way. It's a great story. I really liked it. And because I like Total Octopath, I like what Square is doing with this kind of genre. I hope they bring it back. More and more companies are, are kind of dipping their toes into it, so to speak. 
So I'll give it a good thumbs up. Okay, moving on. We've got Fire Emblem Warriors, Free Hopes. This is like the the Warriors series of Fire Emblem. They did it last time. Did it with Zelda games. <coughs> Excuse me. I like this game. Um I'm, I'm I would just say I like the Warrior games and Musou games. I don't mind them. Dynasty Warriors. I remember playing those games in the PS2 era. I still play them every now and again. They do get bored pretty quick. Uh, they're great for kind of an hour bash, play with your friends, local, 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 you know, local uh, multiplayer. Great fun. But I think what Nintendo's done with uh, Koei Tecmo is their new franchises like Zelda, uh, Fire Emblem. And even uh, Persona, for example, right? where instead of just button bashing and just going in the hordes of hundreds of kind of, you know, AIs and just killing them all, this one, they put a bit of story to it, and like a leveling up system, and, and you're playing like segments, which is, you know, gives you a sense of like achievement, which I like. So I'm just happy that they have, um, they're keeping the Fire Emblem series alive. And you've got the main series, and then you've got like a, a Musou series straight afterwards. So you know, keep the fans engaged. You get it? Engaged. I give it a thumbs up. Capcom Fighting Collection, another big Capcom fan. I love always loved their beat em up, especially the 2D ones. 2D, big fan of those. I'm more of a 2D beat em up than a 3D. Don't get me wrong, I do like my 3D, but maybe just growing up in the early 90s, kind of more maybe a nostalgic. But I've always kind of aligned more to the 2D. So this is a great collection for me. Um, Reason I got it on the Switch, you can get it on the PlayStation. Reason why not? Because the game I can just take it on a bus journey, train journey, on my lunch break, play a quick session, and same reason is the Switch version will probably stay, you no, know, maintain the value. A thumbs up for me. Okay, then now Shredder's Revenge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, again, I remember the big craze back in the 90s, so I was around for that. Uh, I actually read the comics. They were much more darker, of course. I love the cartoons. I even collected the kind of cartoon comics. So you had the black and white ones, the cartoon ones, and it was. I bet I remember back in the SNES day, even the Mega Drive days as well. There was uh, the two D beat 'em up, side sideward scrolling, kind of Final Fight style action games. Sort of fun as, um, and this one brings it all back. Lovely game. Again, I got it. You can buy it on all the other machines, but chose uh, switch same reason because it's one of those games that you know you ain't gonna get much different in, difference in graphics quality on the other machine because it's not that type of game i got it because like i said um just convenient for me playing in the, you know going to work lunch break that's the reason i got it for so and it's a fun game play it for a half hour you can switch it it's not it's not like one of those rpgs where you have to spend hours straightforward spend half hour after during your lunch break and play it i give it another thumbs up. Now we're going to this one, which is a Kelowna. I still can't pronounce names. This game, I remember back in the... I think it was original Sony games. Uh, I remember... I think a lot of companies back in the day were really f trying to find their mascot. Because um, in the 90s, or the 80s to the 90s, you had Nintendo with Mario, and then slowly following with like, uh, Zelda games, Metroid games. Then, of course, you had the big explosion of Pokemon game, Donkey Kong. So, Nintendo really had all the mascots back in the day. Sega, in the 90s, uh, created the Sonic, which became uh, Sega's mascot, and so on. And Sony was really kind of trying to get their version, you know, like Crash, uh, Spyro, even this one as well, uh, Kelowna. Kelowna. <laughs> but I actually like this. It's one of my um, nice... Nice graphics, clean, tidy, nothing special, but it's nice and clean. It's a side side with a platform for all all the series. So when I heard this was coming back, you know, like a bundle, I was like, wow, this is great. I remember they got this on the the Wii. Uh, I don't know what happened to it. I think I lost it. I can't remember where it was now. I'm so I was so gutted that um, I couldn't find my Wii version. So that's why I'm so happy that this one's come on Switch. Um, could have got on other machines, but I chose this one because, like again, you know, it's much more convenient again, and it's, it's probably going to hold its value again. So, 
thumbs up for me personally i know that maybe people think it's just oh it's okay platform but i'm thinking maybe just because uh it's a nostalgic feel for me because i when i played this game it just reminds me of good old days you know and as mentioned this with alive alive uh, square index if you like the triangle strategy if you like the octopath really simple 2d 3d graphics nice RPGs. it's, it's got so much different storylines and so on i won't, I won't uh, give it too much it's a really good game i was surprised i thought wow this is great it's definitely check it out square Enix is definitely rolling i want them to do more of these type of games not just square i mean i want a lot of companies really start looking into this and i'm glad on the switch these games are selling you know it's giving the developers some incentive to keep on creating more of these type of games so i'll give it a thumbs up okay last so we've got Pokemon. I I got Scarlet because red's my favorite color. So I got Scarlet, and I you know read all the views, watched all the YouTube channels, and yeah, there was you know uh, Pokemon's Pokemon. And like I said, graphics doesn't really bother me. And when I think of Pokemon, I don't think of you know God of War five graphic level, you know ray tracing, forty fifty Ti graphics. I don't think of that. To think of it, just you know normal, nothing special. To me, it's more about gameplay. I prefer gameplay. And yes, it was buggy. There's some bugs going around, and you know, Nintendo and, and Pokemon Company are trying to address it. So, uh, but I can't deny it was actually pretty fun. I actually like this more than the. This is technically this is the mainline series, and I like the Arceus series. This is I find is better than uh, Sword and Shield. I've, I had to, yeah, Sword and Shield is probably more or uh, much more all around production value. This one. And I know um, the Scarlet and Violet has a lot of uh, issues, bugs and so on, but like I said, but I still found it a lot of fun with that kind of open world-ish, you know, kind of style. There's a lot of new mechanics in there to introduce, which I really do like, and it's just going to be evolving and evolving, so I'm looking forward to what they do next. So yeah, so like I said, graphics doesn't really bother me, the bugs will probably get fixed soon, but I just think it's a fun game, so I give it a thumbs up. So next is going to be the PlayStation games. 